we have not seen anyone who is vaccinated with a critical illness and we have not seen anyone die of COVID who has been vaccinated. To me, that is an earth-shaking statement. I don't think I can make that statement for any other vaccine. Part of our unit turns into the COVID unit when the ICU is overfilled. And part of my role is to serve as our, well, we call ourselves PPE champions. We are responsible for everyone's safety on the unit to make sure that everyone's remaining within the CDC guidelines and keeping ourselves and our patients safe. Since the public became eligible in early April, we saw sort of a surge in the population of 20 to 30, very young people who are generally healthy and didn't have any other medical problems were coming in and becoming very sick with COVID probably due to letting their guard down a little bit and restrictions being lifted. Yes, it's great to see folks, you know, be outside. As this was happening out in the community, what we were seeing in the last month, month and a half was probably the biggest spike of cases in our ICU that we have seen the entire year. The lack of vaccination, I think, had to play a big role. So as long as this virus keeps getting transmitted from one person to other, this will keep mutating. And so we cannot let our guard down. We, we need to stay vigilant. Until, you know, it is all over, it is not over. I think what we have been doing uh, over the last one year, I would recommend we continue that, especially wearing masks, keeping your distance, and, and of course, you know, vaccination and talking to as many people as you can who have not been vaccinated and trying to understand that. We want people to remain curious about the vaccine. It's okay if you still have hesitation. We're not here to shut you out. We wanna answer your questions. My job as a nurse is to educate, inform, and be an active listener for you. I just want people to remain optimistic that the world worked on this project together. And the science behind the mRNA vaccine is concrete and has been studied before the COVID vaccine came out. Getting vaccinated is a privilege in this country. There are countries around the world that don't have the opportunity quite yet and are still suffering massive losses every day. It doesn't matter if you're really healthy. The virus will affect anyone. It doesn't choose to be nice to some people. It is still a devastating virus. This will continue if you don't get vaccinated. As long as this virus keeps transmitting from one person to other, it'll keep changing. So if we don't get vaccinated, this will go on and on and on. If people aren't vaccinated and all of those people are choosing to be around each other and especially without precautions, it doesn't matter what the rest of the community's vaccination rates are. If, if that group of people isn't vaccinated, they're vulnerable to be spreading the virus to one another. I do have hope that if we can reach a safe level of vaccinated people in this country and worldwide, that in a couple years from now, this will be a distant memory. Unfortunately, a very sad memory for some people and most families, but I hope that we can take this experience as a whole and learn and grow together and understand that if you're vaccinated, you're keeping me safe. And if I'm vaccinated, I'm keeping you safe. That it's a collaborative effort and at the end of it, we can go back to normal. We can get on a plane, we can go see our family, we can go to the grocery store and know that ourselves, our family, and our kids are safe.